Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video, Tech Connection. Today, we're going to be talking about card readers. The Dell Precision T7500 card reader, SD card reader. I'm curious of how does it actually take to transfer, was that say 6.51 gigabyte? All this right here. How, how long do y'all think it takes? To transfer it from here over to my C drive and I just named this files let's go ahead and let's see how long it takes it to transfer these files 6.51 gigabytes over to the files folder and this right here is just my C drive this again is my SD card using the Dell precision so let's drag it over here and Let's see how long it takes. And we'll put that right there. But we're going to see how long this right here takes. So, anyway, it's saying it's going to take about 13 minutes. I may fast forward through some of this. We're also going to be doing the next test with the Anchor SD card reader. I throw something up on the screen right about now and let y'all get uh, a look of look at. I can't even talk right uh, at this SD card reader. So let me ask y'all something. What do you, what do y'all think? Um, I mean, <laughs> do you think that's kind of normal or what? Uh, also keep in mind that the Dell Precision is also, it was manufactured, I want to say 2011 or 12. Um, I may put something on the screen, um, uh, if if I can find something. I think my Dell Precision is from 2012. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. So, uh, yeah. This right here is really taking a long time. <laughs> and I'm not doing any uh, effects or any type of uh, editing right now at this time. Although there will be uh, editing, but there is no editing at this time. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this right here is 6.51 gigabytes. <clears throat> and there's that. Some of this stuff y'all don't need to see. Y'all want to sit here and watch this? Because I don't. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to continue to watch this right here to struggle and everything. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cancel this right here right now. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take out the micro SD card right now and this screen right here it will disappear boom okay I forgot it just closed the window out that was up over here and right now I'm putting in the anchor SD card let's get rid of this here I want this here that's one thing I like about Windows 11 all right, uh, we're gonna go back here. We're gonna delete this here. This right here is on the C drive. Same files. Oh, uh, and I want to make something clear. I am using the uh, Anchor 
SD card reader. Uh, I throw up information right now about it uh, and all this stuff. And we're going to transfer all this over to the C drive. Now let's see how fast it goes. Now, three minutes and 30 seconds. It may have said maybe something else before that, maybe a different, uh, a different time frame. All right, that right there was impressive. So yeah, so what do y'all think? Uh, would you actually buy the anchor? Uh, I mean, well, I was about to say I would, but uh, I've already got one. But anyway, yeah, I leave a link down in the description below. I just wanted to share this uh, information with y'all and. Yeah, if you like me and you need a good SD card reader or maybe say like if yours sometimes does not work, consider getting the Anchor. And this video is not sponsored. But Anchor, if y'all would like to sponsor me, go right ahead. Uh, I'll take you up on that offer. So anyway, I want to appreciate all y'all for watching. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, just let me know down below. I do my best to help you yes anchor is a really good brand that's just my personal opinion if you ever gonna have a uh, negative experience with anchor i guess it's uh just maybe your experience i've also also have a power bank if i can find that i'll leave a link or something or whatever but it's twenty thousand million amp hours and yeah, it's a really good uh, power bank. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. And uh, y'all have a good day. Peace out.